time. Their home life was taken from them. Their town was destroyed. They needed something to bring them home. The prophet Isaiah was able to see that hope would come from a very almighty source, a baby. Isaiah 7, 14 says, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a son. The virgin will be a child and will give birth to a son. And he will call him Emmanuel. Then Emmanuel means God with him. He also promised that his baby would bring people out of darkness, but his darkness was not only the darkness of their present circumstances, but the darkness of sin and condemnation. This child would bring not only light and hope, but salvation. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light at the dawn. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing an appointment, with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The seal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. A baby will have all those titles in the whole world without jumping for him. His peace will have no end. And the forever. A young woman named Mary lived in the town of Nazareth. One day, an angel appeared to her and gave her a very important message. Mary, don't be afraid. I come to give you good news. You have been chosen by God and will be blessed. You will be birth the Son of God. You will name it a baby. Mary was engaged to Joseph, the carpenter. When he realized that Mary was going to have a baby, he wasn't sure what to think or what to do. Should they still get married? Joseph, Joseph felt very confused. While he was sleeping, an angel, angel appeared to Joseph as well. Joseph, don't be afraid. Uh, don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child she carries belongs to the Holy Spirit. He will save the people from their sin. to pay taxes and be counted. Mary was heavily pregnant and it was almost time for the baby to be born. When they arrived at Bethlehem, there were hundreds of people staying at the inns and they couldn't find a place to stay. They accepted the offer and went in the stable. There, among the animals, baby Jesus was born. It wasn't fancy, and there was no one else to witness the birth of this baby would bring peace to the earth and salvation to everyone.
Jerusalem make oath, Mary and Joseph were to the temple in Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. For it was written in those of the Lord, every firstborn who be born shall be circumcised to the Lord, and a sacrifice of two eternal doves shall be offered. There was a righteous and devout man in Jerusalem named Simeon. The Holy Spirit had revealed to him that he would see the Messiah before he died. There was also a prophetess named Anna. She never left the temple. She prayed and fasted day and night. As Mary and Joseph passed the baby Jesus, Simeon took Jesus into his arms. God wants to save us, so we just have to believe and trust in Him. 